goodbye, Georgia. Because we're coming into Florida, baby. Driver's seat, meet Jason Massey. Hello, folks. You want to tell us anything about yourself, brother? Uh, like a little background or why you became a truck driver? North Carolina, spent 13 years active duty military. Uh, post 9 11, paid for my school to become a truck driver. Uh, I've always loved to drive, didn't matter what it was. So I figured I'd give this a shot, and so far I've been, uh, been digging it. Pretty, right on. Pretty cool gig. Well, good morning. It's two guys in a truck and a pug. We are Mr. Wind. To you from South Carolina. We uh, had a nice Denny's breakfast, got a shower, nice and clean and shaved, and on our way up to Ohio to the Abercrombie and Fitch Distribution Center. Got my man Jason. Just had a hard shift club, 500 and something miles coming from Florida. Sleepy boy. Yeah. 500 miles to do that to you. We've been talking in our video series, we're gonna take it to another level than what it's been thus far. And it's been, you know, Jim's trucking journey, I guess it's about episode 10 or so, and it's up to, I believe, I think this is episode 46, 47. So we'd like to hear you guys' comments of like Jim and Jason's trucking journey. Uh, I don't know uh, what you're thinking, Jason. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know, but we gotta definitely have a name. You got. You know, Talladega Nights had Shake and Bake, and, you know, we're both from Carolina, so I don't know. Carolina Connection. We'll leave it up to them, I guess. Yeah, it's up to you guys out there in YouTube land. Hit us up on the comments, let us know. Well, here I sit on I-26, a little over 20 minutes into my shift, and for the past 10 minutes, I've been sitting here. Sometimes I'll ease up about three miles an hour and then I'll stop again. I guess there's some type of accident or something ahead. This will probably affect the ETA. There's Carowind. Wish I had time to stop and play there. Maybe we'll take the kids there next time I go home. Come back, Diane. Here. Taking a little walk. Fat okay. as hogs after having the buffet. What was that place called? I don't know. It was called Goods, what it was. Yeah, it was good. Had everything you could think of. There's a cigarette outlet that we're having to take the long way around. We tried a shortcut, but it's all fenced in right there to see if we can find some uh, e cig liquid. Sure they have e cig liquid at truck stops, but it sucks. It, clogs your e-cig up it doesn't taste good makes my throat hurt it's just low quality juice i think it's from china we're looking for good stuff still got a ways to go well at least we got some exercise that uh it was a discount cigarette which means cheap stale cigarettes like bailey's and riverside 
not high quality e-liquid, which are, we are in search of. But we got a little bit for now, so it's not an emergency. making all the, the high school kids happy this morning. Delivered an entire load of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. You can see my stylish yellow glasses here that I wore all night because it was foggy. Really, really foggy. So, uh, I'll give you guys an update about where we're headed next whenever I decide what time I plan on leaving. So, uh, have a good day everybody and talk to you later. Yo, this is Fashion Week. No, we're yeah, doing Abercrombie and Fitch, and now we're getting ready to pick up a limited load. Damn right. That's a little fashion store for what, some teenagers in the mall. Expensive underwear right there. I've been wanting to get some expensive underwear, like Tommy John's or Unmees or something like that. I've only been able to say that I carried an entire load of just thongs. Nothing else. Just thongs. There it is.
excited are we? We're stopped at well, a hey, service plaza. If y'all want plaza. someone to eat dinner with, uh, we'll be in there in a little bit. Talk to y'all later. But there's a Popeye's chicken, and those are kind of rare. Like all these truck stops have Subways and McDonald's, which I'm not a big fan of. But Popeye's chicken. Burk, burk, burk. Good, good stuff. It is. They got fish and shrimp. And too. Cajun. Mmm. Mm, sweet tea. Everybody had the same idea. <laughs> okay, good morning. We're in New Jersey. Uh, I tell you that Popeye's chicken at the service center in Pennsylvania was delicious. Kind of reminds you of a food court, except they're on the uh, side of the interstate. But Jason brought us uh, into New Jersey and delivered the limited load and then brought us to this shipper now, which is... Um, it's a bit of a dump here, but hey, it is New Jersey. I won't tell you the company's name since I just um, slandered it slightly. But getting ready to pull out, and orders changed a little bit like they sometimes do. But we were supposed to take it to Dallas and then over to LA, which would take us through Monday, which would be about 3,000 miles, and we were pumped and excited about that. But that's not the case anymore. We're going to Atlanta instead like 830 mile run hopefully we'll get something um immediately after we get there that we can um pad the miles up and get a bigger paycheck we've got till wednesday morning to add to it hey but thanks so much for tuning in guys we appreciate all your support your comments your likes but keep adding to it share it with your friends let's get the word out about what's going on and uh we'd appreciate any input if you guys got any good ideas as far as what we can name the the youtube channel something maybe something a little more creative than jim and jason's trucking journey but either the either way we're gonna keep trucking see you next time